The 2023-24 domestic season is 20% complete, and believe it or not, the top scorer across Europe's top five leagues isn't Erling Haaland, Kylian Mbappe, or even Harry Kane. In fact, he doesn't even play in England, Spain, or Italy. No, in today's video, we travel to Germany, and more specifically, the city of Stuttgart, where we find the most clinical finisher in the world right now, 27-year-old Guinean Seu Kinasi. The late bloomer currently leads all domestic leagues with 14 goals in just eight games. But where did he come from, and what does he do so well? Who on earth is Seu Kinasi? Well, the story starts in the sun-soaked city of Auro, France, where Garassi was born to parents of Guinean descent. But despite his African roots, Seru began his international career as a member of France's under-16s, under-19s, and under-20s, while ascending from Laval to Lille and back down to Auxerre. By 2018, he had earned himself a move to Köln in the Bundesliga, but German football proved difficult for the forward, with Garassi failing to register a double-digit goal tally in all three of his seasons at Köln. And while he joined Amiens in France in the winter of 2019 and managed to score in virtually a third of the games he played in. Girassi left both of his last two clubs off the back of disastrous relegations, but his fortunes would change at Stade de Hans as he finally managed to break the double-digit threshold and even scored against Chelsea in the Champions League group stage. He would return to Germany last season on loan at Stuttgart, where his 11 goals and 22 appearances would force the Baden-Württemberg club to make his move permanent. Which brings us to present day. Now aged 27 and in the prime of his career, Girassi has absolutely set the league on fire, scoring more goals than Harry Kane so far and doubling Victor Boniface's total as well. He's managed those 14 goals from a total of 31 shots, which means Garassi is scoring on 42% of his total attempts, a shot conversion rate that blows Kane and Boniface's metrics out of the water, stats that actually appear unsustainable, especially when you consider Seru is overperforming his XG this season by a margin of 86%, numbers that suggest Girassi isn't just a great goal scorer, but also a scorer of great goals, with his incredibly nimble feet and unusual surprise given his powerful 6-2 frame and aerial ability. The former French forward resembles the play styles of old school number nines that used to dominate world football, while still mustering up the impressive passing percentiles the modern game demands of its forwards. But make no mistake, Girassi isn't a supplier of goals. He lives in the penalty area and evicts any defender who gets too comfortable around him, as evident by the bright red areas of this season's heat map. He dribbles around goalkeepers as if they were training cones and ship shots into the back of the net with unshakable confidence, an attribute you wouldn't expect from a player on a team that just barely escaped relegation last season on goal difference. Stuttgart entered this season as relegation favorites but are currently enjoying their best start to a top flight campaign in 28 years, a position that would be unthinkable without their star striker, especially when you consider that Girassi leads the entire team in total goals and assists, take-ons leading up to goals as well as total shots on target, attacking metrics in line with some of the best possible percentiles a forward could aspire to in several categories. But perhaps the most insane Girassi stat is the fact that he's averaging a goal every 45 league minutes, which has left many Bundesliga fans wondering how Stuttgart will fare without him, given Seydou came off the pitch last weekend with a hamstring injury in their 3-0 win over Union Berlin, a victory he scored in of course. Early chatter in and around the club suggests he'll be gone for several weeks, and while backup striker Dennis Sundov has been nothing short of spectacular given his limited minutes on the pitch this season, there's little chance to replicate the form of the first player to ever score 14 goals in the first eight games in the Bundesliga season, and we shouldn't expect them to. We've just been witness to history, and for the sake of German football and Stuttgart fans alike, let's all just hope that Girassi gets the opportunity to finish what he started. If you liked today's video, go ahead and watch another. As always, I'm Andy, first team all sideline.